Okay, so hi guys. So the second topic for the midterms um, is about nematodes. So this is the first part, okay, of our discussion in nematodes. So nematodes. Um, so if you remember, we have classification of parasites. We're done with the protozoa. So followed, we have nematodes, trematodes, and then cestodes. So yun yung mga main topic natin for clinical parasitology. So, for nematodes, the adult nematode is elongated, cylindrical worm, and they are symmetrical. Unlike kay protozoa, di ba they are unicellular? Okay, so unicellular sila, they can exist as a single cell. Okay, however, for nematodes, um, they have adults. Okay, so... May mga worms, okay? So, ito yung may mga worms kagaya ng uh, Ascaris lumbricoides, hookworms, okay? So, these are their general characteristic, elongated. So, this refers to the worm. These are cylindrical worm and they are symmetrical, okay? So, like this one, so these are worms of uh, parasitic nematodes, okay? So, meron silang worm. Iba yung male, iba yung female. Okay? So, magkaiba yun. Hindi kagaya sa protozoans. They multiply through binary fission. So, nagdi-divide lang na nagdi-divide. Dito, nagkakaroon talaga sila ng anak. Okay? Yun yung isa sa pagkakaiba silang nematodes sa protozoan. And they are symmetrical. So, the worms, the nematodes, yung mga worms ng nematodes, they are symmetrical. Anong ibig sabihin nun? So, there is a line. So, if you cut that equally into lengthwise, okay? So, into two equal halves. So, they are mirror image. Kung ano yung nakikita mo sa left part, yun din yung nakikita mo sa right part. So, symmetrical sila. So, they have four openings. The mouth, vulva, they have anus and they have excretory pore. So, anterior ends may be equipped with hooks, teeth, plates, and papillae. So, if you remember, if you remember the uh, structure of the hookworm, yung ginamit natin na template ng slide before, iba yung worm dito, meron siyang teeth. Okay? May mga ngipin sila. So, those are for hookworms. Okay, so even uh, yung iba naman, meron ding lips. So the bodies are covered by the thick hyaline protective covering. Okay, and they have a complete set of digestive system, but they do not have circulatory system. Okay, they are equipped with sensory organs of chemoreceptors. Okay, so the cephalic chemoreceptor and the caudal chemoreceptor. They have separate sexes. Iba si male, iba si female. Okay? So, the, the general life cycle has three stages. Egg, larva, and adult. Okay? So, may egg na napaproduce, may larva stage, meron ding adult stage. So, chemoreceptor, cephalic chemoreceptor. These are paired sensory organs found at the level of the cephalic papillae. So, sa may taas na part ng worm, merong cephalic chemoreceptor. Yung caudal chemoreceptor naman, these are paired structure found posterior, posteriorly. So, sa baba. Okay, so cephalic chemoreceptor, these, has, these are also known as the Amphids, okay? Amphids, A-M-P-H-I-D-S. So, this is positioned at the head part, okay? Sa taas ng worm. So, sa caudal chemoreceptor, these are also known as phasmid. Phasmid, P-H-A-S-M-I-D-S. So, eto naman, they are found on the tail region. So, classification according on the presence of of or absence of caudal chemoreceptor. So, possible kasi na walang caudal chemoreceptor ang isang nematode, but impossible na wala siyang uh, cephalic chemoreceptor. Okay? So, pero possible na kahit wala silang caudal chemoreceptor, 
Pagfasmidea or circinentia is are with fasmids. Okay, the, the sense organ which is which is paired of minute lateral post anal or caudal chemoreceptor organ present in some species of nematodes without caudal glands. Kay afasmidea naman again um, a okay so that stands for the absence okay absence of fasmids. So afasmidea or adenophorea is a group that that does not possess the so-called fasmids. So amphids paired of minute chemoreceptors located in the cephalic or cervical regions of all nematodes. So, yun yung sa cephalic chemoreceptor. Okay? According to habitat, so, um, intestinal nematodes, we have the cache. Okay? Sa small intestine. So, cache for C for capillaria filofinensis, A for Ascaris lumbricoides, S for strongyloides stercoralis, and H for hookworms. So this day, their habitat is on the small intestine. The large intestine, however, okay, so dalawa, si Trichuris trichura, and the Enterobius vermicularis. So, uh, they stay in the large industry. So there are other nematodes, the extra-intestinal nematodes, um, yung mga loa-loa, ganyan, but we will discuss them uh, sooner, okay? So mag-focus lang muna tayo sa mga intestinal nematodes, okay? So intestinal, either they reside in the small intestine or the... Um, Large intestine. Balikan pala natin tong si Phasmidea. Okay? So, sa Phasmidea, uh, take note of the way face. So, ito yung mnemonics dito. Phasmidea, yung mga Phasmidea na intestinal nematode, sila yung face. P for Phasmidea, H4, hookworm, si Ascaris, excuse me, si strongyloides, and si enterobius. Sa afasmidea naman, these are the act. Okay? So, act. Afasmidea, capillaria philippinensis, okay, trichuris trichura, and trichinella spiralis. Sinaman natin si trichinella spiralis, although this is not an intestinal nematode because this is a tissue nematode. Okay, si Trichinella spiralis. Okay, classification according to life stages. Oviparous. So, this refers, guys, to the female. Okay, depending on the, um, on what it lays. Kung egg ba yung nilili niya, larva ba yung nilili niya, or pwede siyang maglay ng egg, pwede din namang larva. Sinasabing oviparous ang isang parasite if that is capable of producing eggs. Okay? Eggs lang yung nililay niya without fully developed larva in its shell. Ibig sabihin, si oviparous, it lays eggs that are not mature. Okay? That are, um, that are still immature kasi wala pang fully developed larva inside the egg. Kapag oviviparous naman, they are capable of laying eggs with fully developed larva in its shell. Okay? So, yung iniitlog niyang egg, okay, yung nilalabas niyang eggs, meron ng larva sa loob. So, that is oviviparous. Si viviparous naman, or si larviparous, it, it, female nematodes that do not produce eggs, hindi na itlog yung nilalabas nila, kundi larva na mismo. Okay? Mismong larva. So, that is for viviparous. Okay. So, first parasite under nematodes. Okay? In our discussion, the Ascaris lumbricoides. I think this is the most well-known nematode as well. Diba? Kasi lagi naman tong, um, Madaming documentaries about Ascaris lumbricoides, 
Maraming pictures. Okay? So, yung parang spaghetti. Diba? Ew. This one, nakakadiri. May tae pa. Diba? So, um, there is an intestinal obstruction in this case. So, tignan nyo naman, tinanggal na yung intestine. So, natanggal na yung intestine ng patient and punong-puno siya ng Ascaris lumbricoides worms or parasites. So, morphology, that is a large whitish, okay, so whitish or pinkish worms. Terminal mouth with three lips and sensory papillae. So, meron siyang trilobe lips. Si Ascaris lumbricoides, okay, it has trilobe lips. Tatlo ang kanyang lips. So, female, take note guys, um, for Ascaris lumbricoides, mas mahaba ang babae kaysa sa lalaki. Okay? So, 22 to 35 cm in length. Smooth, finely straighted cuticle. They are paired with reproductive organs in the posterior two-thirds. So, they have reproductive organ. For female naman, um, it is shorter as compared to the female. Ventrally curved papillated posterior extremity with two spicules. Spicules. So, what is the function of spicules? So, that is for to read. Okay? So actually, this is an organ for copulation. Kapag nagsisex sila. Sinabi ko na. Kasi, um, during the uh, contact, okay, kailangan may mag-hold kasi kay female para hindi siya ma-detach dun kay male. Diba? Social. So, single long tortoise tubule. So, this one, yan yung trilobe lips ni as Chris Lumbricoides. We said, lawa, tatlo. Okay. Ano slide naman to? Slide 10. So, meron siyang three lips, isang dorsal, okay, and dalawang ventral na lips. Okay, isang dorsal, dalawang ventral. So, this is the papillae. So, that is the dorsal lip. So, this one, this is the spicule, guys. So, it holds the female during their copulation. Para hindi siya madetach. Okay, so, they have this one, the excretory pore. Meron silang anus. So, meron din silang tail. So, this is for Ascaris lumbricoides. Okay, so, and it is easier to determine if that is male. Kasi as you can see, meron kasi siyang pa-curve na tail. Okay, so eto, mayroong pa-curve. Hindi kagaya ni female na straight lang siya. Hindi naman definite, hindi naman siya super straight. Pero mas straight siya as compared sa tail part ni male. Okay, so as first lang record this, fertile eggs, outer coarsely manipulated albuminous covering, it serves as an axillary barrier to permeability. It has thick transparent hyaline shell with a relatively thick outer layer that acts as a supporting structure and a delicate vitiline lipoidal inner membranes that is highly impermeable. It is an ovoid mass of unsegmented protoplasm, densely impregnated with lecithin granule. So that is for the fertilized egg or the fertile egg. So, this is also the, um, what do you call this one? This is the infective stage to human. Okay, kailangan fertilized yung egg. So, this one, it has three um, membranes, two major membranes, the albuminous coat, yung outer, okay, yung thick middle layer, and the inner lipoidal vitaline membrane. Okay, so that is the fertilized egg. Pag fertilized egg siya, maganda yung striation niya sa outer membrane. Okay? So, that is for fertilized egg. And fertilized egg, that is longer and narrower. So, thinner shell with an irregular coating of albumin and are completely filled with an amorphous mass of protoplasm 
with their fractile granules that is bizarrely shaped eggs without albuminous coating. So this one, longer siya and irregular yung albuminous coat niya. So that is unfertilized egg. So guys, take note na ang fertilized egg, yun yung infective stage. So kung ang na-ingest ng isang individual is the unfertilized ascaris lumbicoides egg, okay, hindi yun magiging infective. Hindi siya, hindi niya mai-infect yung individual. Okay, kasi masisira to sa my stomach. Okay, so hindi yan magdi-develop into a worm. Okay, so guys, gayto kasi yung pagka-classify. For example, I gave you an image. Identify the image below. So, you have to take note, kin yung mga major errors yung sa prelims. Kasi nilalagay nyo lang is entamiba histolytica. Instead of saying entamiba histolytica cis or entamiba histolytica chocolate. So, so mali na kasi kaagad yun. Pag-please. So, you have to uh, specifically identify it. So, it's like in this case, kapag yan yung pinakita ko, that is unfertilized as curse ng divided egg. Okay? Pero pag ito naman, that is fertilized as caris lumbicoides egg. So, the life cycle. So, let's start. Where is the number one? So, here. Okay, so adult worms can live in the lumen in the small intestine. Kasi nga their habitat is the small intestine so a female okay the female one can produce up to 200,000 of eggs a day so if that is 200,000 of eggs a day imagine na lang in a week or in a month so they can produce millions of eggs in their lifespan because adult female worms can live up to um one to two years okay so Diagnostic stage, either you can see fertilized egg or unfertilized egg in the feces of an infected individual, okay? If the unfertilized egg will is passed in the environment, it will not further develop. So, hindi siya magdi-develop, hindi siya magiging infective, okay? Unlike for the fertilized egg, this one, this is only... Uh, the type of egg that can become infective. Okay? Kasi nga, fertilized na siya. However, it needs to stay in the soil okay, for a long period of time that is 18 days to several weeks to become um, uh, to become the embryonated egg. Okay? To become the embryonated egg. With the um, L3 larvae, so that is uh, stage 3 larvae, okay? So, um, this one, the fertilized egg, if that is passed in the soil, uh, depending on the condition of the soil, the optimum condition of the soil that is moist, warm, and shaded soil. If that is moist, warm, and shaded soil, mas mabilis siyang mag-develop into embryonated egg. Okay, so that one um, in the shaded soil, it will further develop into the embryonated egg with L3 larvae. So actually, sinabi ko kanina that the fertilized egg is the infective stage. But specifically, okay, it must further develop into the embryonated egg with the L3 larvae. Okay, so this is the infective stage. Ito talaga yung infective stage niya, yung embryonated egg. Okay? So, take note, si unfertilized egg, if that is passed in the environment, hindi na yan magmamature to become the embryonated egg with the L3 larvae. So, ingestion of the embryonated eggs, this one will lead to infection. Okay? So, um... After the infective stage are swallowed, the larvae hatch, okay, and invade the intestinal mucosa and are carried via the portal, uh, portal then systemic circulation, okay. So, pwede siya kasing pumunta sa lungs, okay. So, hatch larvae can enter the circulation and migrate into the lungs, 
okay which will then that is from 10 to 14 days so the larvae mature in the lungs 10 to 14 days penetrate the alveolar walls ascend to the bronchial tree to the throat okay and they are again swallowed means and diba lumalabas lang siya sa sa mouth area okay so upon reaching the small intestine they develop into the adult worm okay so, maghahatch siya sa, leaf, sa small intestine, makikarage siya sa portal circulation, magpupunta siya sa lungs, okay? Um, and then, masaswalo siya ulit papunta sa small intestine, and then, it will reside there. So, upon reaching the small intestine, they develop into the adult worm. So, between 2 to 3 months are required from ingestion of the Infective eggs to oviposition by the adult female. So, worms can live um, from 1 to 2 years. So, imagine yun na lang how many eggs can they lay in that a very long period of time since pwede naman silang maglay ng 200,000 a month. Okay, sorry for the background noise. May umutot pa, may kumuha kasi ng labada. Sorry naman. Okay. 